right y'all welcome back to another one so if you're new to the channel uh, my name is Stu and I do a little bit of everything what I've been up to for the last little bit is uh, I have been living out in the middle of nowhere in Colorado for the last two weeks in this uh, tiny little uh, 10 by 6 trailer that I that I built up real quick in my driveway so we've uh, we've been having a great time in Colorado today is actually my last day this is the this is the 14th day that I've been out here and uh, yeah we're packing up stuff we're gonna leave today I just shut down the stove we're gonna let it cool off before we take it uh, apart for transport but uh, anyway thought it'd be cool so before I came out here I uh, I bought a box of these uh, these are humanitarian daily rations. Uh, I bought a box of 10 of these off of Amazon. I'll leave a link below for like $48. I thought, well, that's a pretty good deal. Um, you know, considering the price of price of food and fast food and everything. So I've never tried one of these. This is a menu number three. And I, this isn't an MRE. This, from what I gather, um, an MRE this is kind of like an MRE without the uh, like the heating elements and everything. So I've never had one of these, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, like I said, I've shut all my stuff down, so we'll see see what all it takes to cook it. But um, on the outside of the bag, this is menu number three. It says, food gift from the people of the United States of America. This bag contains one day's complete food requirements for one person. It says that in a couple different languages. So anyway, we'll give this a go and, uh, and see what's all in this thing. I'm, I'm kind of curious, and I thought I'd bring you guys along because I've never had one of these. So we'll cut the bag open and uh, and see see what all we got here. In, uh, it's got a lot of stuff in it. So this is one day. Um, so I guess it's, it would be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know, maybe a dessert or something. We got a lot of little bags in here. What do we have here? Well, we got a lot of stuff. This was menu, oh, okay. Rice with vegetables. Okay, rice with vegetables for our HDR, Humanitarian Daily Ration. So this is vegetable barley stew. We got here. This appears to be some sort of like a pop tart type situation. This says rice, which with vegetables in it. This is uh, a shortbread cookie. We got a shortbread cookie in there. I don't know what that. I don't know what this pop tart looking thing is. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Peanut butter. We have some peanut butter. And we got some strawberry jam. So there must be a biscuit in there somewhere. I'm guessing. United States of America. What is this? This is an oatmeal cookie. We got an oatmeal cookie. We've got a, uh, a silverware type situation. We got, what is it? We got salt, pepper. Just open that real quick and see what we've got. So in our silverware bag, we've got a big spoon, a pack of matches, fresh nap moist towelettes, crushed red pepper, salt, pepper, sugar, and a napkin. So it really sets you up. Um, and then what else we got here? Crackers, comma, vegetables. All right, so that's it. That's that's what we've got here. Uh, there, there's a lot of food. I mean, for what? I got 10 of these for $48. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link below if you want to check them out, but that's cheaper than a value meal. Um, yeah, how do you beat that for, for $5? I don't know if it's gonna taste anything, but. Uh, yeah, five dollars. So, what is this? This is the oatmeal cookie. I'm sure I could probably eat all this in one sitting. So we're gonna pretty much just like figure all this stuff out in one go here. We got peanut butter. I don't know what the peanut butter would be for. We gotta figure out what this thing is. So, 
There's no instructions on how we... Okay, so after a little bit of, uh, of looking around, like I said, I'm sure some of you guys have probably been around this, but I've never been around this. So looks like we have two meals. We have vegetable barley stew, and we have rice with vegetables. And uh, I guess from my gathering is, with the matches and everything, I guess you're you're supposed to heat it up in water or or something. I mean, I don't I don't think these packets are. Uh, it doesn't look like that they're. I guess you could maybe put them in water and heat them up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're they're that kind of a packet. Um, but anyway. I mean, this is, I, I guess the idea is with the matches, you know, you can light a fire. Um, I've got this little cook stove here that uh, that I could put put onto my table. So I think that's what we'll do. I would assume that you could put this in water, in boiling water. But I'm not sure. The directions are very, there is no directions. I mean, it just, the only picture that it shows is that you just rip it open and eat it. But it's cold, so I'm going to warm it up. Okay, so there we go. Rice with vegetables. That's what it looks like. Smells a lot like um, canned cat food. So... Let's just, let's give it a taste here. It's going to be cold, I know, but let's scoop a little out of the bag and give it a taste. It's cold. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. It would be better if it was hot. So I think we'll do that. I'll put it in the uh, in this little cup and we'll, we'll heat it up a little bit. All right. Heating that up over a little bit of flame there. All right. Is that better? No, oh, it's a little better. A little better. Needs a little, needs a little seasoning. All right, so let's try something else here while we're, I'll let that cool down a little bit. What is this thing? Shortbread cookie, oatmeal cookie. Still haven't figured out what these things are. This is a cracker. Let's save the cracker for the soup. I don't know what this thing is. This is the only one that doesn't say. So I'm curious if we cut into this. Let's see. This thing is. What is a pop tart? Ah, it's a pop tart. All right. It looked like a pop tart. What kind of pop tart is it? I don't eat a lot of pop tarts, but it tastes like a graham cracker. All right, so we all know what pop tarts taste like. So let's move on. Oh, it's brown. <coughs> it just hit me. <coughs> That's brown sugar. It's brown sugar. Woo. Oh. Went down the wrong pipe. All right. So let's try this uh, oatmeal cookie. We have oatmeal cookie and shortbread cookie. And we've got peanut butter and strawberry jam. So we'll stay the strawberry jam for the uh, for the shortbread cookie, I think. Let's try this uh, oatmeal cookie. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not a big oatmeal cookie kind of guy. That is one very hard oatmeal cookie. It's not bad. Not bad. We got our, uh, our little 
pan hair cleaned out. I think that's the idea. I mean, I would assume you could put this stuff in like boiling water and heat it up, but we're just going to go with this. So this is, uh, what did I say this was? Vegetable barley stew. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to give them all a try right now. But I would assume you could just set that. I don't know. Somebody, one of y'all in the comments, I'm sure will, will let me know. They're making a, a mess here on my little, my little table. That actually smells really good. That's what it looks like. Vegetable barley stew. Let's do the same thing. Let's give it a cold taste. And cold, I mean, it's probably 50 degrees in here. So it's definitely not warm, but vegetable barley stew. That actually has a really good flavor. The consistency is like, is like mush. There's, there's just, there's nothing. There's no, no crunch or, or nothing, but the consistency, the taste is, is actually pretty good. Um, even being cold, it'll be, be better once it gets warmed up a little bit, I think, but vegetable barley stew. So you're getting your vegetables, everything's got vegetables in it. I almost wonder, I think I'm going to add a little water to this one. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of water. It's so All this stuff is so dry. I was thinking about adding a little water to rehydrate it uh, on the rice. But I think I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this one. Just to make it, I don't know, more of, a, more of what I'm used to here. So I added, I don't know, a few tablespoons of, of water there. And it, I've turned it into like a soup kind of situation here rather than just that I don't know that dry cat food type of situation here so that's dessert where's these crackers we got crackers I'm saying this is gonna be like two packages of saltines together to aid me in my soup that I'm creating so they're definitely not saltines I got two wafers of crackers about like that. They look more uh, whole grainish, if you will, as opposed to like a saltine. And that's what they taste like. Yeah, if I was eating all this stuff every day, I'd definitely be uh, be hydrating it a little bit more. That definitely helped. That's going to make it easier to scoop up in my, uh, with my crackers that I'm going to eat with. Okay, so, well, that's heating up shortbread cookie. Shortbread cookie. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Let's try a strawberry jam. All right, strawberry jam, the shortbread cookie. It tastes like strawberries though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's our barley vegetable stew. Heat it up and hydrate it. I think the hydration is the key. Makes it more, I don't know, natural, what you're used to. Let's see where to go. All right, that just tastes like if you get a canned soup. After it's hydrated, you got to hydrate this stuff, I'm figuring out. I wish I would have added a little to that rice. Yeah. 
scoop it up with some crackers. Yeah, that 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 barley stew. I mean, that just tastes like if you get a, a can of soup from the grocery store. For five dollars, that's a lot of food. That means for five dollars, you could have a day. Now, these are rations, obviously. Uh, if you were doing a lot of, I'm out here at the mountains in Colorado. I feel like I would need a little bit more than that as far as calorie intake. Need a little bit more than that hiking up and down these mountains. But, yeah, I mean, for $5, uh, it's it definitely is heavier than, uh, like, a freeze-dried meal. I wish I would have weighed that thing. But it was it was probably, a, I don't know, pound and a half, two pounds worth of stuff in there. But, yeah, the H, what do they call it? HDR. The HDR. So the humanitarian daily ration. Um, I I tried again for like I said for five bucks, and if you're needing something quick, um, like I said, obviously this is the whole day right here, and I could honestly probably sit down and eat all this in one go. But yeah, not too bad for five dollars. I mean, you can't get a cheeseburger for five dollars anymore. So anyway, thought you guys would like that. This is my first time trying it, so I figured. Eh, let you guys in on the action too. So, hey, if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff, uh, consider subscribing. Check out a bunch of my other videos. We do a lot of random stuff here, honestly. More and more we get going. Uh, we just we just do a little bit of everything. But hey, I'm gonna finish off this food. Um, continue packing up. Like I said, I'm I'm headed out today. We're 1,300 miles home, uh, back to Illinois, and we're gonna have a, a full winter of uh, of cool activities. But hey, I appreciate you guys following along. Uh, watching this video with me. If you enjoyed, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment. As always, appreciate the view. See you on the next one.